Hello, this is Heath Johnson with NCSI. I'd like to show you how to view a device in Neurons from Service Manager. There are a couple ways we can do that. Uh, first one is placing a button on the form of the device. The other area where we can do is add a button to the toolbar uh, of the device. Well, let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is open up the configuration console, click on business objects, and then search for the configuration item or CI business object. And modify a form, but there's a lot of forms here, so I need to determine which one I need to modify. If I go back to the front end, front end interface, and I can see I want this top section here. It's called Asset Summary, and then we have the Child tabs that start with Details, Discovery, and so forth. So in order to determine the right form to modify, open in Layouts, find the role that you want to affect. So I'm logged in as the administrator role, but I also want to affect the service desk analyst role at least, which is right here under this amc.ci role or layout. Open the layout and then find the computer uh, form view for the child panel called asset summary and the, the placement is a panel, so that's what I want. And then just below it is the Details, Discovery, and those are all the child tabs or the actual tabs you click on. So if I go to the Asset Summary and I scroll over, and this is the form that I want to modify, the am.asset.summary form. So let's go back up to the Business Object. Click on the Forms. Now I've already modified this once before, so if I click on Modify Date Twice, then it brings it up to the top left corner, and then I can click on it. Now what we're going to do is put a button on this form, and you can place the button anywhere you want. I'm going to place it under the serial number uh, field. So expand out other, and then scroll all the way to the bottom, drag and drop the URL button below that. Click on the button, and then the label we want to that I want to give it is view device and neurons. <clears throat> and then I want to give it, uh, add an image to it. I've already got one selected. So you can either select one from the image manager that's already there, or you can add your own. And I've already, I've got one called Neurons Workspace that I've already selected. And then down below, the, the three fields or the control properties we're going to modify is the URL, URL expression, and the visible expression. So in the URL expression, we're going to put in some of this information. So we're going to put in HTTPS and then the the tenant or the URL for your uh, neurons tenant. We'll do the avanticloud.com slash devices and the discover ID, the value, whatever's in the discover ID on the, um, the CI record is what's going to be searched for. So in my case, I'm going to point to our NCSI tenant for neurons. So I'm just going to paste that in both the URL and the URL expression. And then I only want this button to appear if information has actually been imported from neurons. And so there's a field called device ID which um, we're going to trigger off that.
and that is this lower value where the discover ID is either blank or null, or if it's not blank or not null, then we're going to display this button. So I'm going to paste that in here. We'll just simplify the expression to check it. Um, and then I can also make the button keep it the default width. Uh, it'll just make it as wide as the text is in here. But I think I want to make it as wide as the fields above it. So I'm going to experiment with some numbers here. And I think I got pretty close. That's pretty close to do 23 width. Okay, so let's save this form. Go back to the uh, front end and refresh. And then if I go to my computer, now this one I do have some information from neurons. I can click on it. I have my button um, there. And if I click on Neurons, it should open up a new tab and take me to my Neurons tenant and open up Device Direct. So it gives me a direct, direct access to the device and Neurons. So that's one way to do that. The other way to view a device in Neurons from Service Manager is we can not only put a button on the form, but we can also put one in the toolbar. In order to do that, we're going to go back to the configuration and then back in the business object for CI, open up Quick Actions. And then select Create New Actions. And then down at the bottom, UI Action. Let's give it a name. Again, I'm going to type in view device and neurons. I can give a category if I want, and then make sure you publish it to the roles that you want to see this. So administrator and least service desk analyst and service desk manager. You can add other roles if you'd like. So again, we want to have this button uh, visible, only visible if there is information from neurons. Uh, and so we want to click on this hide in UI when expression. And we want to hide this in UI when the discovery ID is either blank or is null. And then the rest of these values, I'm going to bring up another another uh, slide here so you can see that. So the scope, we'll just put an application, open window for the command ID, we'll do null for the confirmation, and then there's a the URL again uh, down at the bottom, and just be sure to put in your tenant URL for your own neurons tenant. Save the changes, and then go back into the Configuration Console, back into the CI Business Object. And then click on Layouts. Again, we want the amc.ci layout, and then the Computer Form and then edit the toolbar. And then go down to the bottom here and drag your new quick action up to the top here. And click on Save. Then Save again, and then Save one more time. Once that's done, go back to the uh, application interface, refresh. And then go to your 
your computer record. And then now we have the button up here, View Device and Neurons. Also click on that, and that should open up the neurons, your neurons tenant right to the device. Awesome. Okay, so now you have two options uh, as far as button placement. One is on the form itself using a URL button, and then the other one is a um, UI quick action on the toolbar. You don't need both. If you want both, that's fine. I would probably just do one or the other. Uh, now, also just to test to make sure our visibility expressions work, let's go find another asset. Click on it, and now we don't have the button down on the form nor in the toolbar. So it worked as expected. That's how you configure some buttons to open view a device and neurons. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a great day.